European Union Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini announces a 10-point plan to tackle the migrant crisis in the Mediterranean region. Meanwhile, South Korean Prime Minister Lee Wan Ku has offered to resign over an allegation that he took illegal funds from a businessman. Christine Domingo will tell us why. In South Korea. South Korea's Prime Minister Lee Wan Koo, who has denied an allegation that he took illegal funds from a businessman who committed suicide, has offered to resign, Yonhap News Agency said on Tuesday. In a scandal that threatens to weaken President Park Jun Hye, Prime Minister Lee Wan Koo has denied that he received 30 million won or $27,000 in campaign funds from businessman Sung Won Jong. Sung was found earlier this month hanging by his necktie from a tree while under investigation for fraud and bribery. Yon Hap said the presidential office has confirmed that Prime Minister Lee has conveyed his will to resign. Under a campaign finance law passed in 2004, during a time when the Sainuri party was battling an early bribery scandal, political contributions in excess of 100,000 won were made illegal. Corporations are banned from making political donations under the law, which is aimed at severing ties between the government and businesses looking to secure favors. In Italy, Italian Coast Guard vessel Bruno Gregoretti arrived at the Maltese port of Valletta on Monday night carrying 24 bodies and 27 people out of the 28 survivors of the accident of the Libyan coast. Italian authorities arrested the captain and a crew member as the vessel arrived at the port. The two men are believed to be traffickers on the migrant boat that capsized off Libya on Sunday, which caused over 800 deaths. After the accident, Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi compared the immigrants smuggling across the Mediterranean to the African slave trade centuries ago. The Italian government and international organizations have appealed to other European countries not to leave Italy alone in addressing the illegal immigration crisis, prompting emergency talks on the matter. The EU Commission also unveiled a 10-point action plan on Monday to stem the tide of immigration crossing the Mediterranean. I'm thinking of uh, strengthening our presence in Niger, where we already have a mission, uh, UCAPSAIL, uh, that can be strengthened uh, and that can uh, solve uh, the crucial uh, element of uh, one of the ways of access to Libya uh, through its southern uh, border. European officials are struggling to come up with a policy to respond more humanely to an exodus of migrants traveling by sea from Africa and Asia to Europe without worsening the crisis by encouraging more to leave. As many as 1,800 migrants will have died so far trying to cross the Mediterranean since the start of this year. Christine Domingo reporting for Y News.